James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 11th, 2023. 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've had an M2.0 solar flare. This solar flare popped off right before 1500 UTC time. It was short period. And we've moved up to what looks like a 4.8 to 5 baseline. Higher than I've ever seen. We're going to, have to see what happens next. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. GOES 18 SUVI 195 Angstroms. We see that that event might have occurred from this sunspot right here. And that is still up in the air. NOAA or NASA have not determined where the flare came from at this point. I do see that sunspot, which we'll take a look at, lighting up. There's a good chance also that it could have come from this large group of sunspots going around the limb. See if we can get some additional information. All right, 3367, right here, central disk has turned beta gamma overnight, so it's much more complex. 3361 is the only other very complex sunspot right here. It's beta delta gamma, which is the most complex sunspot known to man. Although it does appear like 3367 was the culprit. And I believe that we can see that action here. It looks a lot longer term than goes shows it to be. But we're going to have to go with 3367 as a source of that M2 class solar flare. Let's see what else we can find out. Heading over to the D Region Absorption Prediction Center. These are the x-rays bombarding Earth causing radio problems and we can see how strong that baseline flare is looks like that M flare hits right about well that was 1300 1435 all right there it blows right when we expected it much stronger than I thought it would look like. 1435, you can see the radio alternation is quite strong. And it looks like it mostly hit almost a perfect shot over the Atlantic Ocean, leaving most land masses alone, although parts of the Caribbean, parts of Africa, and even South America were impacted by the solar flare. What else is interesting is all these precursors that are very strong sea flares leading up to that. No one speaks about sea flares anymore, but we're having a lot of them and we have a sea baseline. So everyone around the globe is getting their dose of radiation today for sure. All right, with that M2 class solar flare basically solved, it looks like we're heading into another M flare currently. The baseline, if not, is moving up quickly. What is causing this? Well, we're going to have to stay tuned to see if we move into M territory again. But it definitely looks like we're headed that direction. And it is currently right at 1700 UTC time. So we'd be looking for an event after that. We're going to have to let that develop. God bless. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.